Hello, I'm Brett Goldstein and this is The Late Show's Getting the Slang of It. Every language has its own slang, but the Brits take the cake. So before you sit down for a chinwag at the local pub, I'll guide you through some of our cheekiest sayings. I did not write that. Do one. This means f off. Do one, son. Did you just fluff? I'll be honest, never heard it, never used it. My understanding of the word fluff is either a bit of fluff, meaning attractive woman that is your girlfriend. He's out with his bit of fluff. I've also understood it as a fluffer, which is someone who gets porn stars ready. Did you just fluff? I've never heard. I think they've made this one up. It means did you just fart? Apparently, it means did you just fart? But knowing English people, we wouldn't go that soft on it. That's pants means that's rubbish, garbage. That's pants. Taking the mickey is taking the piss which is also a phrase you don't use in America. Taking a piss is like roasting someone. He was f***ing taking a mickey out of me, this prick. I want him to do one. <laughs> He's such an anorak. I guess meaning dweeb. I don't use it, sounds horrible. I'm much more respectful than that. I've ne Listen, I say all sorts of things. I'd never call anyone an anorak, I'm not a prick. To waffle. Waffle means to waffle on, talk too much. He's waffling on with his bit of fluff. Telling porkies, porky pies, lies. Oh, what, what, he told you that? He's telling porkies. Sweet Fanny Adams. Fanny Adams stands for F-A, which means f cool. What did we win today? Sweet F-A, sweet Fanny Adams, sweet f cool. Making a right pig's ear of something means f it up. How did he do out there? He made a right pig's ear of it. I don't know why it's the right pig's ear and not the left pig's ear. I don't know what the pig did to deserve this sort of treatment, but it's something we say. We got an issue with pigs. You're all bum and parsley. I mean, not something I've come across. Do you have an answer for that? You're allowed to know it all. Hmm. You're all bum and parsley. I'm told means you're allowed to know it all. If you're going to use an alternative word to make something else mean something, you're not going to put bum in the sentence, are you? Again, sounds a bit like an anorak to me. Not something I'd use. Pop your clogs. Dead. Dead. He's dead. What happened to Grandma? Yeah, she popped her clogs. Oh, that's cheered me up a bit, actually, the way you said that. I don't feel so sad about her being dead. Bob's your uncle. It means... It's happening. We're going to put this team together. Bob's your uncle. We're going to kill everyone. Well, I hope you're chuffed. I'm Brett Goldstein and this has been The Late Show's Getting the Slang of It. I didn't write that bit either. <laughs>